What is up, guys? Esther Clap here with Shinobu Through. Hello. My girlfriend. <laughs> My boyfriend. We're going to be reacting to Globku's video of Dragon Ball Breakers gameplay. We have already watched the video ourselves, the trailer ourselves. We just want to see Globku's video and give opinions on what we think about his opinion. So. We're just gonna get right into this. We're gonna skip the trailer, like I said. Cause, uh, I mean, I guess we can uh, we can watch the trailer. We can watch it with him again. So we'll just get right into this. But before we do, remember if you guys like the video, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't. And without further ado, let's get this shit. Yeah, I'm in a big boy talk. <laughs> Yep, 1v7. Well, only a Dragon Ball. Oh my god, this HUD is so busy. I don't know where to look. What? What is all of this? Okay. <laughs> we definitely have to watch that in slow motion. Yep. The mission is to escape through the time machine. The concept of the game is already pretty cool. And the Raider gets stronger as the battle oh, yeah, goes I on. Do like the Reminds me a bit of Evolve. I noticed that the timer at the top oh left. God. Is okay, like just long. Full like at cool. the highest I've seen it at is nine minutes. So Dragon maybe Raider. they're like nine minute matches or ten minute matches. Right, yeah. That's not too bad. Ten minute matches. That's not bad. Okay. That is actually a decent number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially when you compare it to like other games that take like twenty minutes sometimes. That is oh, yeah. okay, just first impression. Half an hour it, sometimes. It's like Ooh, the listen. graphics are bad. And if the graphics right. are bad in Guys, I, I do not agree what? with this. I don't agree with him saying that the graphics are bad. Because personally, I feel like he, he's he's comparing it to Demon Slayer and games of that nature in terms of graphics. For what this is and what we got and for everything that's going on, I think the graphics so far are fine. What what do you think, Shrew? Do you think the graphics are trash? No, it's Demon... Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's Dragon Ball. What do you expect it to be? Like, it's Dragon Ball. That's the graphics you get. Yeah, I, I honestly cannot think of a real way to improve Dragon Ball graphics. Like, this, this has kind of been the norm since, like... Dragon Ball existed. <laughs> yeah, like, this, yeah. this kind of is the norm for Dragon Ball graphics. I, I just yeah. feel like we kind of got spoiled because we've seen Demon Slayer for so long <laughs> it yeah. kind of is like man this i but to me personally i don't see anything wrong with this but me let's either. let's continue let's continue in, in 2021 or 2022 when this game is coming out the very least you can do when you show your game off is not have it run like garbage like this thing is not even running at 30 frames per second it's terrible there are frame drops everywhere apparently you can destroy entire areas as the raider and that's a cool concept but they're showing it off and it's like yet yeah, your game cannot handle this the okay i i with the frame rate dropping and all that i feel like this they didn't have to show its gameplay they didn't have to show us gameplay at all. And for them to show us this kind of gameplay, at least showing us what we're getting into, because we didn't see anything from the trailer they had showed us before. This is our real true gameplay that we've been able to see. Not a real match, but at least some of the HUD, some of what the uh, characters can do, all of that. I feel like with the frame rate dropping and stuff, this is stuff that's going to be fixed. Like, let, let's be honest, guys. This is stuff that's going to be fixed. It looks like they're playing on the PS5 just looking at the um, LR and R ones because those buttons are white instead of black. So they're, they're clearly still working on it, guys. <laughs> they're, they're working on it. I'm sure as time progresses, we would definitely be getting some more, um, you know, consistent gameplay with the graphics. There, there might be some frame rate drops a little bit, a little bit on older consoles just because of everything that's going on in this game. But I, I do not think that these um that the frame rate drops are going to be 
as much as an issue and um i'm going to give the mic to true now so she can give her thoughts on this what do you think about this um i think he just has ptsd with demon slayer <laughs> 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 like honestly like i get the whole like uh frame drop uh issues and stuff especially a game like this mm -hmm. it would matter a lot more mm -hmm. uh but knowing how demon slayer uh, oh my gosh how demon slayer went and like I don't think that same thing will happen to this game. <laughs> we hope. We hope. We hope. <laughs> we hope. We Knock hope. on wood. <laughs> we really do hope. This does look good. But go yeah, on. but I do like the concept of it. I really like the concept. Because I like uh, Dead by Daylight. Okay. So okay. I really like it. But um, let, let's continue going through these points. The yes. Super Daisy from the Hold on. Let's it off and it's like, bit. yeah, your game cannot handle this. The HUD is Super Daisy. From the Raider's perspective, it seems that you have your level on the bottom left, along with your health bar, obviously. Above that, wait, wait, the item of your on. level on the bottom left, along with your health bar. Where do you see the health bar at? Left, no. along with your health I bar, obviously. I don't see it. I don't that, see it maybe either. Items, maybe abilities, I don't know. On the bottom right, you definitely have abilities. And the abilities seem to be on a cooldown, so there's no reason. The abilities here. Here, they were they definitely remind me of dead by daylight i just want to throw that out there oh uh, yeah yeah. That definitely reminds me of Dead by Daylight. Source management, it's literally just cooldowns. This ability where you destroy an entire area is probably the ultimate. Dang, so look at that cooldown. <laughs> probably the thing with the biggest cooldown. Top yeah. left, I'm going to say it's objective. It's uh, what yeah. the survivors have to do in order to survive and escape. And on the top right, you can see the survivors and uh, each one of their levels. This big cell Kamehameha, for instance. Man, that is lagging Oh, that's you a lot. That, <laughs> hey, that does look kind of rough right that's there. I'm Someone not gonna hold you. Presence. That looks kind of rough. He did not make it out of that <laughs> zone. Else <laughs> the survivors are running around. The HUD is flipped. You still have the he items on the best. left, but on the right there are no abilities. And you have the survivors on the bottom with. The oh, he's showing the, the survivors. There's okay. a deed change mechanic I don't know that, what that uh, keeps is. popping up in uh, multiple shots. I think I know what this is. Just give me a sec. So there was a tweet last week that says, "Future survivors, on top of using items that you'll find across the map and the skills at your disposal, the dragon changes." Oh. Oh, give you the power okay. of a Z fighter, and you can see one of the survivors uh, doing a Kamehameha with the ghost of Goku right next to him. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's what that is most likely. You have a dragon radar uh, that shows you, I don't know, items maybe. There's a key item on the right. There's a person on the oh, left. That is so maybe so one of your survivor dope. buddies. Oolong here he uses the that vase is... item that you can see on the left side of the screen and he turns himself into a plant. And you can see that icon across multiple survivors. <laughs> so I don't think the survivors will have unique abilities. They will just pick up items then make use oh, of them. We okay. can see the Saiyan spaceship basically just relocating you. We can see the moment that we saw in the trailer where Cell picks up a survivor and Oolong saves him by shooting a rocket. <laughs> and that's kind of it, honestly. Yeah, I don't really like the look of this. I mean, the graphics we knew were bad, but the whole HUD is just so, so busy. It's kind of messy. But what's bothering me the most is that I, I haven't seen this game run well. And if this was like a technical achievement, a technical marvel, a breakthrough in graphics, I would understand it but the game looks like this it has to run good there's still a lot of time optimization is usually one of the last steps that come in game development so it could be different by the time this game releases but given the track record of anime games I i'm not optimistic let me know what you guys think of breakers based on the well with all that being said i honestly i don't know all we can do is personally wait because i mean with the fps being rough and all that it's like I, I keep going back to the thought they didn't have to show us anything they didn't have to show us what this game was because they already gave us a trailer and they could have just kept silent the whole time yeah that's true so i i'm really thankful that they shown us gameplay and I, mm -hmm. i'm 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 thinking that they were aware that the fps and stuff is dropping but they wanted to show us the gameplay and show us the vision of what they have going on there if there's a beta, I don't think a beta is a good idea right now. No. If that's anytime soon, like within the next month, I don't think that's a good idea whatsoever because that that footage definitely was looking rough with FPS drops. But any closing thoughts, True? Anything you want to say going um, through the end so of this video? I really like the concept of the game. I never thought I would see Dragon Ball in that perspective. <laughs> Yeah, it, I really like it, and it's like, I feel like it's kind of like a lot more like, it seems like it's going to be super fun, especially 
once I found out that you can have like a char chan change change power. Yeah, being able to power. do supers. <clears throat> yeah, like I was wondering about that. I was like, oh, as a survivor, would you have anything? Because it is Dragon Ball. Yeah, like, everybody's right. Everybody's kind of cracked. <laughs> mm -hmm. So <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm excited for that. I really like the little map. The, the little map on your phone, uh, not phone, little, little gadget thing. <laughs> the dragon radar? That's, yes. You guys, give her some so slack. She doesn't cute. watch Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she I'm does sorry. not watch but... Dragon Ball. <laughs> uh, I really like that. I like the little piglet. <laughs> Whoever that is. I don't know who that is. But yeah. Overall, it's a good game uh, so far from what we see. Yes, it's like the first or the second trailer of the gameplay. Or This is the gameplay and then they have the trailer. So it's really good that they showed us what it would possibly be. Of course, there's going to be some errors like the FPS, the lag and stuff like that. Uh, well, over the times, is I hope they fix it. That's all we can think of. <laughs> All right, guys, you got both of our thoughts. We want to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you guys have good expectations, terrible expectations, or you guys are kind of mad about it, let us know in the comments section below. We will definitely be checking this out. No, <laughs> We're definitely going to be checking this out because this, this looks good. I don't know if that beta is going to be open or not, but if it's open, <laughs> you'll definitely see me on there. I don't know if Shu's going on there, but I'm, I'm definitely going to be trying to convince her to get on that game. Trust me. <laughs> you best believe that, y'all. You best believe that. Yep. But um, with all that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Dragon Ball Breakers, what are your thoughts? And we will see you guys in the next one.